Started in the 1810, the cotton mill in Salvatore became one of the biggest mills in the area. Getting connected to the Waterloo Highway in 1835, the mill remained open during both wars. The complex grew to have 12 buildings, 98 houses owned by the mill, and the mill employed 372 workers. After World War II, however, the mill was scheduled to be shut down January 1st, 1948. We are now entering the ruins of savage mills. Look up and around. I don't know how this is going to look. That's the inside. One of the machinery we're going to take. That one has a lot of stuff in it. Wow, look at that old scaffolding right there. That's straight wood. Oh. Wow, this is actually really cool. Wow, look at the old piping. Need to make sure I don't fall through a hole either. We are up. It's sketchy, but we're doing it. This place has really been left to sort of fall apart. Woo. So here is the old railroad stuff that I got. We're entering the second part now. Oh, you can feel the cold air coming out. Oh my god. Um, don't know if I'll be able to get to that side, so we're going to do this side first. That probably went up to the old main one. You can see the floor joist up there, which is really sad because it's not original, but there's a lot of water over there that I really don't want to fall into. That's all caved in. Wow. Now I understand why they put no trespassing signs. I saw this stuff still moves. Look at all of this. Look, there's even a little crawl space to go back to it. They probably used to drain out the water, but you can tell it so it goes follow down. That's interesting. This is that thing from the other side. There's a above view of that. So I figured I would walk from down there up the trail lo and behold there's a lot more here but as you can see up there there's some old ruins of uh, outlet pipes for drainage if you guys enjoy smash that like button comment what you think about this place and subscribe for more great exploring videos this has been boy logan i'll see y'all on the next one